Hi, I'm Susan and welcome to my studio. I am going to talk a little bit about fabric selection for fabric collage. I have in front of me three groups of fabrics that I've collected this year, some new treasures, and I have them divided into batiks, prints, and large format novelty prints. What I find most helpful for fabric collage are the batiks. Now, usually when I say batiks, people will think of something like this, which is, which is perfectly fine. This has a nice variation of lights and darks in it, so it would be usable. But I really like working with printed batiks, and that would be probably one of my first choices. You see these all have some sort of design in them, usually a more organic and flowing design. Now, some of these you can see have uh, a variation of the print where there's higher contrast and lower contrast. And those I can work to my advantage in the image and making um, shading, let's say, um, for whatever image I'm trying to depict. Then there's others that have a much larger design in them, a larger print. That works great if I want to um, use uh, that uh, flowing shape for some sort of uh, flowing element in my, my image. So those work very well. Then there are prints, printed fabrics. Uh, these also have a nice flow to many of them. Uh, they have interesting designs, colors. I can use them to blend from one thing to another. Uh, some of these are more, um, have, um, uh, are stronger in the pattern than others, uh, but that would be great accents. This one here, in addition to having really nice shapes, also has some nice light and dark contour uh, values in it, um, and contours too. <laughs> uh, then um, these novelty prints, uh, I'm kind of a sucker for novelty prints, so I, they make me smile and I tend to collect them. I'm not exactly sure uh, how I'm gonna use them when I do, but let's take this one for example. This has some interesting areas of texture that I could use. It also has some very interesting rocks in here, which I could turn into spots on an animal. So you never quite know how they might work. This one here, the birds, uh, beautiful colors, beautiful uh, uh, texture again in there, could work for um, a furry dog face, who knows. And then these cats here, uh, there it's, it's all cat faces. Uh, but if you look, these uh, colors just blend beautifully from one to the other. Could work really well if I'm trying to make a gradation of colors on another image. And then these uh, butterflies up here, the moths, um, just beautiful designs, beautiful, um, again, texture. Even the background is something that I could use uh, for, for a fabric collage down the road. So those are a few of the things that I'm looking for, uh, color, value, texture, and I hope that that might help you in your fabric selection as well. All right, thank you.